uh, secondary education is, uh, is not for free, you have to pay for it. So uh, knowing very well that there are many kids who are very bright, who do very well in their grade 8 examination, uh, we thought of this program as a way of assisting them to go through high school. Uh, thinking that, and I think it has been proven, that with an education, uh, then they are able to, one, develop themselves and uh, assist their families. Probably they are the ones who will now come back and uh, pay for their siblings. And uh, in a way, you bring a whole family and a whole community out of uh, extreme poverty that uh, many are facing right now. We are specifically very keen on mentoring these uh, students. And so what we do is that uh, every time they are home from school, you know, remember our scholarship holders go to different schools in the country. But when they are at home, we then uh, bring them together and invite people to come and speak to them on different topics. So career choice, uh, they need to give back to the community. But related to that mentorship program is that we, uh, we have made it actually mandatory for them to do 30 hours of community service every year. Uh, and that has to be supervised and, uh, you know, there is a specific form which they fill out and uh, sign. That is only when they can move on to the next grade with our support. That was, uh, you know, we thought of it because we realized that there is a need for people in Kenya to realize that they also have an obligation to give back to the community. Because I think that is what this program is, is, is actually doing. Actually, we are very lucky to have met One World Children's Fund, where we learn from other organizations what they have done well, how they have managed to progress, and that has really helped us. Thank you so much, One World Children's Fund, and we hope you'll be able to take in more champions and help them. Thank you.